Welcome to Motion and Product. Today we're going to learn how to use APIs to create a crypto dashboard with a synthwave cyberpunk vibe to it. So let's jump into it. To power our crypto prices, we're going to go to CoinGecko, and CoinGecko is a platform that allow, that provides a lot of information about cryptos, but more importantly, they have this the world's most comprehensive API and it's free. Um, it allows a lot of crypto information and it's a really easy API to work with since there are no keys to worry about. So just scrolling down through here, um, what we're looking for is trending is interesting, but we're actually looking for markets so that we can get the most popular um, coins according to market cap. So we can try out the API here and all you need to do is add in a currency. So whether USD or I'm based in Australia, so it'll be AUD for me. So you can um, customize the requests and here it's the market cap descending. So from top to least, and then we're just going to change that to 10 results because we don't want to display a hundred results at the moment. So when you click execute, you'll get a whole uh, the data back in the form of JSON. So you can look up uh, what JSON is in detail later, but it's just like a, a generally a key value pair. And the important part for Bubble is to get this URL. So we're just going to copy that right now and jump back into Bubble. I created a project earlier, and now I'm going to add in an API connector plugin. I'm going to call this API name called CoinGecko um, and then add the specific call for these and the market caps on the coins. So enter my URL there and click on initialize call. It takes all that, that JSON data and formats it in a way that's kind of easy for us to understand. Um, so that's all set up. That's all you needed to do and to test it out. Uh, to see if it's working, I'm going to set up a repeating group of 10 and uh, call that a coin and then reference the API that we just uh, set up. And just to test it out, I'm going to enter a dynamic content that displays the coin's name. And boom, there we have it. For some reason, when I think of digital currencies, I get this uh, cyberpunk uh, synth wave vibe to it. So I figured um, I'm going to explore this idea of um, using that kind of styling to display crypto prices. Here I was uh, trying to see if I could uh, change the colors on the borders, but that's not really possible in Bubble. So i um, just going to keep it simple and just have um, color coding on whether the uh, price went up or down and going to color the border shadow. So here I'm setting up the default colors uh, themes for my project so that it's easier for me to uh, reference the colors. And to get things going, um, I'm using groups and using them to center my content. So um, I'm happy with that red uh, background one. So I normally um, set up colored backgrounds so that I can see where I'm working um, in debug mode. but. Oh, once I'm happy with it, I just turn off the uh, background color. So to my left is uh, Figma, and that's my reference point for design. So I'm just uh, taking colors and stylings from there. And now I'm just adding the rocket ship next to the giant sun. And here I'm going to go to Figma to get the drop shadow um, linear gradient uh, colors. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. I'm um, going to add the purple and grid lines because it can't be a uh, synth wave without grid lines, right? Um, yeah, so just trying to measure that out, trying to get that to work properly. Um, so that looks good. Now I turned off the background color. And now I'm just going in and changing and adjusting each of the repeating uh, row items so that it looks more like the original design. 
so that's looking pretty good um, there's a little green background uh, shadow um, but if we want to change that shadow to be red uh, when the price change percentage is less than zero or negative uh, so that's what this um, statement is doing uh, I'm going to change the box shadow color to um, the red that I've selected in my theme before and set that at 25% opacity and if we click on back here in preview we can see that when the values are negative they're going to have a slightly red uh, background color this is the same way to do conditional statements for the the price uh, change in the cell itself. So now we're going to add in an image uh, so that we can see um, which coin it is. So far it's been text only, so we're just going to add the image in now. And at the moment, and the design has um, a gray background or f8 f8 as a background for each coin so th that's why there is a group and an image within the group and that's looking okay i'm just recentering that and now um yeah let's see if we can make that um look bigger because it looks a little bit small so we're just going to increase the size from 32 to 40. And we're going to refresh, and that looks pretty good. But if you zoom in closer, there's a little bit of a, like a white outline because of the uh, background. So you know what? We're just actually going to remove the background color of the group. And there it is, our crypto dashboard uh, powered by an API. Please like and subscribe for part two when we're going to start looking at putting graphs and charting in bubble with crypto. Bye for now.